Hello out there everyone, it is your esteemed pleasure to hang with me, Tony Stank, for another Stank Productions. Today, I am going to share with you guys, I am proud to share with you guys, my birthday suit, the Iron Man Mark IV from Hot Toys. Welcome back again everyone to another Stank Productions. If this is your first time on the channel, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit that like button so you can stay up to date with all of our content. So today in the house we have the Iron Man Mark IV suit with the gantry. This is a die cast model that was given to us by Hot Toys and created by Stank Industries. I call this one the birthday suit because I was actually wearing this one on my birthday when Rhodey so rudely came in and crashed the party and stole the prototype to the Iron Man Mark II suit and then gave it to the US government who unbeknownst was being controlled by Hydra. Way to go there, Rhodey. This of course is the successor to the Iron Man Mark III that was destroyed by Ironmonger and in many ways looks very similar to the Iron Man Mark III um, with a few changes, it's a little bit more streamlined and this one has the patented filtration system and I want you guys all to know that every Iron Man Mark IV suit I have personally urinated in to test the filtration system. And that filtrated urine does not go to waste, by the way. Here at Stank Industries, we make use of all byproducts. And that urine turns into cologne for you guys out there. It is an amazing product. Let me just tell you right now, it's guaranteed to get you the number three, number four hottie at the bar. Maybe, maybe a number five, just saying. All right, enough about me though. Let's take a look at the box. So how does George say it? Close up! All right, and there is the box art. As you can see, this is a much larger box than most that you get from Hot Toys. So right here you have the model of the Iron Man Mark IV. It says Iron Man Mark IV with suit up gantry. This is a die cast. I really love the design of these boxes. It's got kind of like a textured feel, almost metallic at the bottom. And then you have this like, you know, plastic clear way that shows the art. Mark IV and you get an image there of the gantry. On the back, you have all of the wonderful credits of the Stank Industries people that put this together. And then on the back, Mark IV, back to the front. So when you slide out the box, you are given the foam that actually says Mark IV on it, although this one here has a lot going on. So let's pull this out and we show you the different things that we got going on here with this one. So yeah, it's like that. Okay, there we go. Got it out. <laughs> All right. So when you get it out of the box, you have the instructions that you're going to need to put this one together because there's a lot of pieces going on with it. You have the uh, gantry right here in the lower section of the box. So that is all of the stuff that makes up the gantry right there. And it's got some weight to it. That's a lot going on with that. On the Mark IV side of it with the foam, there is two sections to it. There's the foam part that actually holds the Iron Man suit. And then you have this part here that always seems to flop all the pieces out for whatever reason. But you have all of the swap out parts, some more gantry parts, some other accessories. We're going to go over all the accessories here in just a second. And then in the uh, top layer of the foam, you have the Iron Man suit itself. Okay. So let's go over all of the accessories real quick, and then we'll do a close up of the figure and then we'll get into some posing. All right, because of the sheer amount of accessories that come with this piece, which I think is the most that I've seen in an Iron Man figure, we're just gonna do a brief overview of all of the accessories that come with it, starting out with the hands. So just like all of the Iron Man figures that I've seen on the die cast line, you get a hand like this, two of them, that will give it the look like you're doing the repulsor blast, uh, and then the light source will pass through there. You get a set of articulating hands. So these will have articulating fingers on it, which is cool. Gives you the option to do a couple of little more things. And you have an articulating back plate right there. And it'll allow you to give a little bit more character to the way this is uh, a scene. And you get two of them as well. You also get two close fisted hands. And then you get an amazing portrait of me so that you can have this right on your pedestal and looking all handsome. 
This has got to say is one of the best looking portraits I've seen of myself. I, I get, man, you got to like, the guy who makes these things, this guy needs a holiday named after him. He needs to be immortalized. I mean, he does some amazing work. He even got the hair right. I mean, that, that's difficult. Very cool. Love the way that looks. You also get a ton of swap out parts for the armor. So you get little pieces like this. All right. You get one that has the uh, tank missile. Let me show you the way that looks. So you got the tank missile. All of the parts on these are, are very delicate. Uh, probably not something I'm going to be swapping out too much when I have these on display. But as you can see, they do a nice job with the detailing, even on the interior and all that. Very cool. And on the opposite side as well. Look at that. Everything looks good. All right. So you get something like that. You get some uh, other pieces like this. I don't even know what these are, but all kinds of different articulating parts like that. You get a box of accessories that comes with a set of sunglasses, a donut, coffee, and the fresh donut box, you know, from that scene where I was standing inside of the donut hole. Kind of wish they came with the donut hole so then I could display it that way. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, you have a several arms for the gantry. I'm going to show you a few of them so you can see the detailing in the gantry arm. Look at that. They even have like the oiling and the, and the damage, you know, the rust that they develops over the paint and everything. The arms look good. All of the, all of the hands here articulate as well. So you can see there's a lot of display options that you can have with this. Not going to be the way that I go with it, but I'm, it's nice that it comes with it. It's a good option. So if you're looking to display it with the gantry, you have things like that. Um, you have several little small, tiny arms to put on, including the hosing. Super cool. All right. You have other, a set of other articulating arms that look like this. And this is, I think, where you pass through the hand so that it grabs a hold of the armor, like it's coming, like it's taking it off. Again, more hosing and detail all in that as well. Super nice design to this. This is very, very cool how that came out. So nice work there. And then lastly, you get a base. So let me pull out just a little bit here so you guys can see this base here. Pull out like that. And focus, there we go. All right, so there you go, detail on the base. So this is how the base looks. And it just doesn't look like this. This isn't, this isn't all that it does, this even articulates. So the base can actually separate out. You have uh, parts here that, that slide out, I'll show you guys. This pops out, that pops out. These sections all slide out here. So you have the option to give it this three-dimensional effect as he's standing down on it. So that's really cool. And then the kicker is that all of this lights up. So you can see that there's light up features in there as well. It runs on three AAA batteries. Does not come with the Iron Man suit. You get the uh, batteries for the Iron Man itself, but you don't get batteries for the base. So you're gonna have to supply your own AAA batteries, but very nice. This is a really cool option. And that is all the accessories. Let's take a look at the figure. And there it is, the Iron Man Mark IV. Very nice, very sleek. Looks just like the Iron Man Mark III, mostly, with some uh, different designs. But as George would say, let's get close up and let's see what this thing looks like. So you know what time it is. Extreme close up! All right, there is an extreme close up of what the armor looks like. Very well done. I really like the way the metallic finishes on this. They did a great job with the overall design of it. I turned on all the lights, put in all the batteries so you guys can see the way that would look on the head. I like the way the lights light up. They did a nice job with that. There's uh, three batteries that load in from the top, like almost all of the other Iron Man figures that I've seen. And then a switch up there. So that's really nice. The chest armor, the chest uh, arc reactor. I'm not a huge fan the way this one lights up as opposed to what I saw with the Mark VII. Uh, here you can see more detail with the arc reactor but I don't like that the light just doesn't really shine, you know, as bright. I would prefer this to be like kind of opaque and then just have a nice light up feature because at this distance, you probably wouldn't see all of those details. So that's, that's one thing. Um, 
moving in on the on this part of the back here this piece flips out and that's where the batteries are located for the arc reactor when you go to want to replace the batteries on that but again very nice detail i like the way the uh, ab section looks here they did a great job there very nice finish there's a little bit of uh wear there that you could see and i think they did a great job with that to give it just some idea that it looks like it's being worn the batteries for the arms load up here in the bicep these little uh, parts uh, gold parts flip out and then the three batteries that go on each one as you can see this is the way the lights look on the uh on the hand i gave that option so you could see that so there you go again not super bright i kind of wish they would just have like an opaque uh white finish there to give it that idea that it's nice and bright um lots of little details here like all of the rivets and uh it looks like the bolts and mechanisms that make the iron man suit look like it's functional so great work and then you move into the body parts here on the on the calf area great work there see back here on the back part of the knee you can see how it has all of the uh, joints there give it that look like it actually can can work i mean they did a really nice job of making this functional so and the boots check out the detail on those boots really super nice finish super super nice finish on the boots very cool and they even detailed the bottom of the boots so you can see that they have some texturing down there at the bottom so just an overall very nice design for this iron man suit let's check out the articulation on it and then we will get into some posing you know the question i get asked most often is tony how do you go to the bathroom all right let's see if hot toys followed these stank procedures and made this suit fully articulatable so that we can uh, pose it in the way that we want to so let's start off with the head the head you can turn pretty much in any direction you can go that far up you can go about that far up so you can look completely up or you can look about that far down and then the head can pop out and you can swap that out for the uh, tony stark tony stank portrait all right moving into the arms the arms have to be pulled out if you want to get more movement in it the shoulder pads can pull out completely to give you more options so that you can take and pull the arm off like that <laughs> All right, so you can get about that high up with the arm. Uh, you can see that this arm here kind of sags a little bit. I think it's because of the weight. It could just be a defect on mine. So you can go about that far forward, okay? You can go about that far back with the arm. You have some turning points here at the bicep. So you can turn pretty much all the way around at the bicep. There is a double joint here at the elbow which allows your arm to come back about that far the hand itself has rotation in it and you can turn it in and out you can go side to side with it you have a lot of motion there in the wrist uh, there's flaps on the iron man suits on this one here so you had like flaps here that pop out swap out pieces that go into those parts you have flaps that come out here on the back like that so lots and lots of options for posing so very cool actually i like the way these articulate better than on the uh, mark 7 that i just recently uh, took a look at all right so moving into the waist if you don't pull the waist out you have about this much turn not too much okay so if you want to take and have more rotation in the waist what you want to do is you want to pull out on it and it's, i know it's a little scary to actually want to do that but that's what you do and it'll release and then it'll give you a little bit of a gap right there and that'll give you a lot more rotation in the upper area and then you can even turn down and pull back on the waist more once you get into the uh the legs over here at the um the pelvic area right around the waist these flaps pop out and it allows the legs a little more rotation there so you can go forward you can go back all right now if you want even more rotation you got to take and pull the legs down so you just pull on it down hold on to the waist it's kind of stiff the other, other leg there you go so you can see the leg comes down more and then you can get a little side action there like that that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise so the thigh has some rotation in the thigh you can see there that has that at the knee there is a double joint at the knee which allows the leg to come back about that far 
There's also flaps here at the, at the back part of the calf. So you have that action there. And then in the ankles, you have full articulation in the ankle. So you can go forward, you can go back. If you take and pull out on the foot a little bit, again, use a little bit of force, you have some side to side action. I found this out also with the Mark 7 that you can do that, which will allow you to get a little bit more balance when you take and put them in some certain in certain poses. All right. And then you even have some articulation at the toe and at the back of the calf. I'm sorry, back of the heel. So lots of articulation in this Iron Man figure. Let's put them in some poses and see what we can get them to look like. The after party starts in 15 minutes. All right, first pose out of the gate, the superhero landing, Iron Man 2 pose. This is when I first landed at the uh, Stark Expo. And that's basically the pose that we got going on here. Uh, the articulation on this thing is fantastic. It was able to get into the pose fairly easily. Uh, there are some things that um, I'm noticing with it that kind of suck a little bit. There's, it seems to be like a looseness in some of the arms. Uh, so they kind of pop out of their joints very easily. And the other thing is that it doesn't want to hold very strongly in certain positions where I was able to do that with the, with the Mark seven and even with, uh, with some of the other Iron Man, the Mark 45 also was very held its pose very well. So I don't know if that's just, um, you know, a thing of dealing with die cast that they doesn't hold because of the weight or, or what, but yeah, that's what we got going on here with, with this one. So let's try another pose and see what we can get them look like. All right, second pose. This is the immediately following my superhero landing into the Stark Expo. You know, I gave everybody a greeting and uh, this is the way I looked at that point in the movie. So poses very well. Same problem I had with the arms, like I said before, they kind of want to sag a little bit. I think that's uh, uh, something having to do with the uh, with the die cast. I don't know what's going on there as far as that goes. It just doesn't want to like hold very well. Um, may just be something having to do with my figure in itself, but poses very well. I still think it, it came out pretty good. Uh, I like how it has, it gives it some character. I think this is probably the way I would go with posing this one. Uh, for me, at least this is the more iconic pose that I did in this movie. So very, uh, very good. I'm digging it. So let's see one more pose and then I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so for my third and final pose, I was gonna have it looking like I was in the donut shop, but let's face it, I don't have that construct here and you know, well, just not available to me at the moment. So I decided to pose with a set of screwdrivers, throwing up some gang signs for all my brothers in the barrio and that's what I'm doing right now. So this actually came out pretty good. A little bit of articulation issues at the waist. There's not a lot of movement to be able to get that full bend like uh, I was able to do in the movie, but it still has the overall look. Uh, I like that the portrait looks uh, very much like myself and I like that the sunglasses uh, uh, give that effect. And you do have a very uh, realistic look to how this would appear if you, know, you were laying down with the Iron Man suit on. All right, that is it guys. I am done. I am spent. My total nergasm has been let out on this video for you all. As always, I think that this is a fantastic figure from Hot Toys. They did a great job on these, on these Iron Man figures. I can't say that enough. Stank replication is far none. I haven't seen one that has come to me that I don't like. So, so far I'm doing very, very good with these. So, you know, the paint work, the amount of accessories that you get, Everything that comes with this thing just gives it that whole, that whole feeling that you want to get when you get an action figure in your collection. So really cool work from these guys. Great job from Hot Toys. As always, guys, I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Make sure you leave a thumbs up on the way out. I love you 3000. Keep it marvelous.